On Friday, a new $10 billion space telescope will be launched and a group of ASU researchers will be keeping a close eye. Team Troll's Rachel Cole caught up with the scientists who are involved with the project that has some truly high expectations. It's, it's fantastic, and it's 20 years in the making. It's the James Webb Space Telescope, set to launch into space Friday. It's much bigger and can see more than its predecessor, the Hubble Telescope. While Hubble made new discoveries in a universe that's rapidly expanding with black holes and thousands of never-before-seen planets, the Webb Telescope will give astronomers a deeper look. What we see now in every major galaxy, that there's a supermassive black hole at the core, that must have started really, really early on. And the James Webb Space Telescope, Webb, will be the first telescope to actually get us access. Dr. Rolf Jansen is part of a research team from ASU who, along with astronomers from around the world, helped develop the telescope and will be gathering data from it. We're trying to find the first objects, the galactic size objects that started shining in the universe. The Webb telescope is so large it has to be folded like an origami in the rocket and then unfolded in space, which has never been done before. There are so many firsts for this project. 11 new technologies that were developed for this telescope that didn't exist before. It will be sent millions of miles out where the sun literally doesn't shine. It's going about four and a half times the distance of the moon. Always have uh, sunlight to power its, uh, its instruments. It can always communicate directly with the Earth, and yet the telescope never sees the glow from the Earth and the sun. Dr. Jansen doesn't believe it'll be able to discover new life on other planets, but can find things that could cause researchers to take a closer look. There's just so much going on, and it's an exciting time to be an astronomer. Well, ASU is holding a watch party on Friday morning, but you do have to register in advance. We have a link on our website at 12news.com.